Hi boys and girls and welcome back to Mr. Grable in our grade 3 ELA class where we read collections. Super Senses is our book and today our account is called Speaking with Signs. Oh, I think it's non-fiction. It's called Speaking with Signs by Lynn Bryan. Oh, there's a caption here. It says, Theo, Mark, Artovio, Radomar, Marlo, and Errol, and their teacher, Mrs. Woodard, sign a welcome. Ooh, another caption. Lynn Bryan was invited to visit a grade three class at the Alberta School for the Deaf. Here is what she discovered during her visit. This is a picture of the kids and their teacher. And Lynn Bryan, our author, it went to the Alberta School for the Deaf to find out what that's like. These six students at the Alberta School for the Deaf, ASD, are sending a message. They are using sign language, speaking with their hands and fingers to say, Welcome to our school, ASD. American Sign Language, or ASL, is used by students and teachers at ASD and by many people across North America. And here's another picture there with the caption. It says, here is how the children sign their message. Oh, and you could try this out. Welcome, see the hand coming down, to our school. And then A-S-D is how they showed the letters. So there's an alphabet for American Sign Language and there's word actions too with your hands. Sign Language in Action. In many ways, the classroom I visited was just like any other grade three classroom. But there was one big difference. Everywhere I looked, people were speaking with signs. Signing is the children's first language, the language they all use to communicate in all their lessons, conversations, and games. You can see some more captions there in pictures. Sign language at work. Oh, I can see it must have been around Remembrance Day. So they have poppies on there. They have a globe in the background. Oh, and they're doing some word work, maybe. I watched their teacher, Mrs. Woodard, use sign language to explain something to Theo about his work. Then Jessica read word cards by signing the words. Meanwhile, Marlo and Mrs. LaFrance, the teaching assistant, used ASL to talk about a math question. Errol and Rodimir discussed a story they had read. At recess time, the children signed to each other as they hurried outside to play soccer, have fun on the equipment, or just to talk to friends. And there you can see the caption of the kids at recess, recess at ASD. Caption at the top, ooh, some kids reading, yes, ASD students reading on the left and writing in his desk there on the right. Then, right after recess, the grade four and five class invited all the elementary classes to watch the drama or into the drama room to watch a play. They had made the play up themselves, and all the characters' words were signed. Just before lunch, the children worked on their stories. On stories, they were writing or read books from their classroom library. 
Students at ASD learn to read and write English. Some of them also take speech classes. It must be a hard work learning a language when you can't hear the words. Hmm. Special inventions. Hey, we did some invention learning in social studies. Special inventions for special needs. At home and at school, ASD students use the telephone and TV set in special ways. After lunch, Otovio showed me how he uses a special phone with a keyboard. First, he typed his message on the keyboard. The words went over the phone lines to the phone of the person he had called. And there he is, a student using the telephone keyboard. Last page here. There the words would move across the phone's display screen and be printed out on paper. Just above Otovio, there was a white light on the wall. That light flashes to show that there's an incoming call. Later in the afternoon, the children watched an educational TV program. Their TVs have a special decoder. They print the words being said at the bottom of the screen. These words are called closed captions. Television guides mark caption programs with CC or the square symbol there you see. You can also get videos with closed captions. Some programs use a different system. An interpreter signs the words as the program is being filmed and the signal signing appears in the corner of the TV screen. I spent a really exciting day at the Alberta School for the Deaf when it was time for me to go. All the children were busy doing social studies. Mrs. Woodward got their attention by turning the light switch off and back on. They looked up, smiling. I smiled back, waved goodbye, and used the sign that means thank you. And there you can see the caption, sign for thank you. So a whole different language, not English, but English sign language. Pretty cool. Have a great day.